Almighty God, teach me once again through the Holy Spirit as I listen to Psalm 90. In the name of my Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever you have formed the earth and the world, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You return man to dust and say, Return, O children of man. For a thousand years in your sight are but as yesterday, when it is past, or as a watch in the night. You sweep them away as with a flood. They are like a dream, like grass that is renewed in the morning. In the morning it flourishes and is renewed. In the evening it fades and withers. For we are brought to an end by your anger, and by your wrath we are dismayed. You have set our iniquities before you, our secret sins in the light of your presence. For all our days pass away under your wrath. We bring our years to an end like a sigh. The years of our life are seventy or even by reason of strength eighty. Yet their span is but toil and trouble. They are gone, they are soon gone, and we fly away. Who considers the power of your anger and your wrath according to the fear of you? So teach us to number our days, that we may get a heart of wisdom. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. Satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad for as many days as you afflicted us, as for as many years as we have seen evil. Let your work be shown to your servants and your glorious power to your children. Let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us, and establish the work of our hands upon us. Yes, establish the work of our hands. Father God, thank you for these precious words that was penned from our brother Moses. Lord, it is true as I'm processing and thinking about these words and that even in the average lifespan in our generation, if we live to 70 or 80 years old, Lord, it is just but a breath and like a day or even a chapter of our life in the grand scheme of eternity. Oh, yet, oh Lord, many of us waste our time away and we don't understand and we don't even invest in eternal things. And we just ask for your forgiveness, Lord, as your word have said, teach us, Lord, to number our days so that we may get a heart of wisdom. Teach us, oh Lord God Almighty, to invest and others to seek your kingdom first and your righteousness so that we know lord god that we are investing in an eternal kingdom that we will be with you forever O oh lord god almighty have mercy upon us teach me day by day to lean on you and to worship you and to invest in your eternal kingdom it is through jesus christ i pray for all these things amen <music>